What's happening, everybody? Y'all know what time it is. Yep, we're back at it again, y'all. Yes, yes. So, you are looking at the air condition or AC dryer. This is uh, on a Freightliner Classic. If y'all haven't seen uh, the other video, we just got done putting a air condition or AC condenser in this vehicle. And now we're going to replace the dryer. The dryer is fairly new, but since the system was open, it had a hole in that condenser. We're gonna go ahead and uh, replace the dryer as well. All right. So without further ado, let's go on with it. Uh, wanna start y'all off with something simple. Just unplug this pigtail by pulling on this bottom piece like so try not to lose your little rubber okay and same over here you just follow this line you just disconnect it okay and we'll just go ahead and cut this in a little bit okay and you have four nuts that's holding the uh, U-clamp or the bracket for the dryer. So you'll need to remove those nuts. It is on, on this vehicle, it's a uh, half inch nuts. But before we do that, let's go ahead and uh, open up the lines. All right. And we're doing this to make sure that we won't have any bad chemicals or dirty chemicals going into our air conditioning compressor. All right. Like I said, this is a fairly new dryer. I probably could have reused it some more, but I'm just choosing not to, you know what I mean? So now that's out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, loosen these uh, clamps up and I'll cut y'all back on. All right, everybody. So, went on and cracked this loose with a 14 millimeter. Just wanna turn it, turn it. Just loosen it up. And we'll go ahead and uh, once we get this out, we'll go ahead and uh, install it on the. But we'll wait, to, we'll wait to install it, I mean. We got an O-ring that we gotta replace. Alright, just set that down out the way. We'll go ahead and uh, remove this one. That seal is keeping that bad boy in, y'all. It's doing what it's supposed to. Just 
just like that move that out the way now we can go ahead and just slide this all the way down this dry okay i need to loosen that clamp up some more but you get the idea let me go ahead and take care of that and i'll get back to you all right everybody so there it is this is our old dryer and of course this is our new one these two seals up here are the old seals that came off came off right here and these will be the new ones that we'll be installing okay so without further ado let's go ahead and slide this onto the bracket and get it sealed up now i am going to reuse the same or these uh seals right here okay i believe they're they're still pretty good so we'll just run with them all right let me go ahead and slide this oh and i forgot to tell y'all uh how to tell which one is which this is in so it'll be hooking up to this line right here all right so let's see uh, try and do it one hand yeah all right i'm gonna have to use my other hand now all right y'all so i ended up snugging my top torque bolt down to pull the seals and uh the dryer together basically marrying them and all i'm doing now is opening my shredder valve right here getting a seal or an o-ring And screwing it in, y'all. Just like that. We'll go ahead and uh, pull that down. Now you can go ahead and uh, tighten up your brackets first if that's what you feel you want to do or need to do. This is just my method. Put another seal right here. And put our sensor back on there. Like so. There it is. You just go ahead and plug this up now if you want and uh pretty much the same right here just like so and now i'll go ahead and uh pull these clamps down all right all right everybody there it is that's how you replace your dryer on your Freightliner Classic. I mean, yep. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and take this to get it charged up. Whew, man. Let's get it on. Pulling the vacuum on it. Is it gonna hold the vacuum? Is the answer, I mean the question, not the answer, right? It's taking a long time to pull. All right, all right, there it is. It's pulling the vacuum now. Uh-oh. It's looking all right. Alright y'all, you will 
was uh, pulling a 10 minute vacuum and uh, we're halfway done pretty much. All the needles are pegged out. We're gonna see what it do, baby. Hopefully it holds the vacuum so he can shoot it on up. I believe he's gonna go ahead and uh, add some oil. We got to add some oil into the system. So, he said after you pull the vacuum, he'll go ahead and shoot some oil in it. And it should still be all right. It's looking all right, y'all. Once, once it's done vacuuming, we're gonna let it sit for a couple of minutes to see if uh, the needle pulls back, okay? If uh, this needle goes this way. So, we'll check it out, y'all. All right, vacuum is complete. Needle has not moved. Oh, it's on my damn hand, bro. Look at that. Oh, y'all can't see it. I gotta turn the camera off. I mean, the light off. I got some you. Oh, man. That's, <laughs> that does, that, that shit does work. Yep. That's that dye. Oh, yeah. That's that dye that you put in there, huh? That's, that's, that's cool to mud. I need to try that on my lures. I don't think it's moving, man. It is, right. <clears throat> this thing you took, how many pounds did it take? I think two. Two pounds. Charging. One of the needles is supposed to move, right? When it starts charging all the way to the... Which one? The blue one, right? Both of them. It's going to push on both sides. Yes, for the what? Start charging. Oh, so you can read the tank weight too, huh? Mm hmm Is it the tank weight on this one? No, or? this. That's why you can't touch it while it's charging. It charges by weight. It's almost two pounds. A pound and a half. So the high side right here, it don't have to move where it, it could stay where it's at, right? Well, it goes up. This is just smaller gauge, so it moves faster. See, they're both at the same 70, 80 pounds. Right. 75 right now. Oh, it, it, it's walking it up to it, huh? Mm -hmm. When it gets close, it slows down and charges other times time so it can read it. Them gauges, them gauges are steady at 75, man. Mm -hmm. Is that a good thing or what? Yeah. How, how high is bad? Like over a uh, hundred? When it's not, when it's, when it uh, ain't running, it, they both read the same, but when it goes, this it should go between about two to 250, and you should go between 30 and 40. Hmm. Cause that's the low side. Mm -hmm. Them gauges not moving at all. So I have to build back up, huh? Yeah. You don't think that's that's enough right there? How you gonna know if it's a nut? Start it up when we read the pressure. I don't have no, uh, that thermometer you put in the vent. I don't need that. I feel if it feels good, it feels good. Yeah. Go crank it up. 
Alright y'all cranking it up. Turning the AC on. So Max. That bad boy jump up. Nope. 